All right, so we got a Subaru Outback. This is a 2002 2.5 liter, and uh, it's misfiring, and we're gonna be changing the spark plugs, ignition coils, and the wires, all right? Small little job, but it's gonna take us a little bit of time. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. We're gonna do, show you the whole process. We do need to remove the bottle where the, uh, the washer fluid goes on the opposite side. We do need to remove the air duct uh, pipe, the pipe, the intake pipe. All right, all that needs to be removed. So we're gonna go in front of the car and I'm gonna show you exactly what we're gonna be doing, all right? So, let me get my light here. Where is my light? Where is that? My light's over there. All right, so, let me put my light over here. All right, so over here, we're gonna remove this bottle right here, all right? This bottle gotta go, and on this side, all we need to do is remove this uh, air, uh, Maybe you pipe this big long pipe over here because it plugs the coil, the wires go down there, right? So I'm gonna show you everything step by step and the ignition is, coil is right up on the top, right? So this car was misfiring uh, in rainy weather, usually moisture water will get in and it will misfire and the coil, ignition coil, the guys going for long drive, he said just do it, all right? So we're gonna do it and we're gonna get it started. It's gonna take us a good hour and a half, probably the video's gonna be shorter than that, all right? And don't forget, I'm gonna do my 10 push-ups at the end of the job. So right here, we got our washer fluid reservoir. So number 10, and this does have few connectors to the pumps and there should be a cable for the fluid to travel on. Two pumps, two cables, one pump, one cable, which is the line. All right, so let's remove this and this. Got a car out there, sounds like a helicopter. Muffler is probably blown. All right, so those are the two 10 millimeter bolts. And then let's see if you can lift this little guy up, all right? Sometimes you cannot lift it because things will restrict you from lifting it, but it might be just these wiring, these cables on this side. Yep, these are sitting on it, all right, on this side. And after that, we should be able to lift this up a little bit. And then on this side you have connectors, all right? Do not try to pull the pump off because you will leak all the fluid, all right? Yeah, come on, connector. check my light right so we're gonna push this you gotta squeeze this fat end over here you gotta squeeze this way and try to lift it up all right yeah I squeezed it but it still didn't come off and you try to squeeze it with the needle nose just be careful with the battery you don't want to short it hopefully this is a better idea me squeezing it it's coming off. All right. There you go. Got one connector off. And let me see if I can get the second one off. I broke something but now it just slipped off don't have an angle with this so let me see if I can manage it with the hand yeah come on little guy all right let me get this off I don't want to waste too much time on the camera all right once you have this bottle emptied out not emptied out once you have it removed the little connectors you got these two pumps it has two pumps like I was saying if it has two pumps you're gonna remove two cables so and it's gonna leak out so you should remove this pipe it's gonna start to shoot out all right what I like to do is I like to take it really fast and put my fingers on it 
just like that, all right? And same thing on the other side, put your finger on it, all right? I'm gonna take this, put it into one of those bottles I got over there so it does not leak out. If it leaks out, it will be inside that container. All right, I got it sitting there. That's how I was quiet, I got it sitting there. And look at all the space we have right there, all right? And we can work on this nicely and easily, all right? All right, let me go down a little bit so we can see better. So, we're gonna remove this ignition cable right here. This is the one, all right? It had moisture in it, definitely. Look at that water inside, all right? Make sure you keep the order in the order that you're gonna take off, right? Because you do not want to mess up the firing order, all right? And what I like to do is take one side off, and I'm gonna pull this right. Let me move it up so we can see this and that end. Ignition coil, just yank it off, all right? So pretty much that this guy is on this side, and that's you cannot mess it up, all right? It's very simple, and this cable comes out this way, all right? So we're gonna have to put the cable back in that way. You cannot get this big side in. If you can, that's good. All right, so there you go. That's one of the cables out. Let's get the second one out. Hey, all right? These are just sitting there on the clips. And there you go. The second cable is out. What I like to do is, I like to keep these cables in order just in case all right i'll leave this one over here what i'm gonna do next is i'm gonna blow air all right i'm gonna blow a lot of air so if there's any dirt debris inside those it will come right out all right usually you won't see me spray air into this but i saw moisture so there gotta be some kind of water and stuff in there all right because he did tell me he had a flashing check engine light and he felt it shake seems like a misfire there you go. All right, very easy. All right, next I'm gonna go get some tools and we're gonna pull out the spark plugs. Okay, so I got this socket, five by eight with the extension size of probably a uh, iPhone five. All right, that's like five inches or four and a half inches. All right, so that sits in there really good. I'm gonna take my ratchet, all right. And we're gonna turn this guy and loosen up the spark plug. All right, so counterclockwise is where we're going, all right? There you go, that's loose. If you wanna remove the battery, you can remove the battery. I do not like to remove the battery because it kills a lot of memory. All right, the computers does have memory. The clock, some cars like Honda's, they have memory in the radio for the code. All right, so let me loosen up the second one and there it goes. All right, got them both loose. All right, once it's loose, we should be able to turn this by hand and get this little guy out of there. All right, I'm gonna loosen up the second one, then we'll use a little magnet to pull out the plug, all right? There you go, it's loose, it's sitting in there, alright? So next, if you have a magnet like this, that will work good, make sure the front is clean. Alright, let me do it to the side, because I don't want nothing to fall in back down there. There's nothing there, but make sure it's clean, alright? Usually magnets tend to hold things, alright? So, there's one plug, looking pretty bad. And there's the second plug, looking pretty bad, alright? So we got these two out. We're going to wait for the new plugs and we're going to finish out this side and then we're going to move on to the other side. Okay, I got my spark plugs. There's a part number right there. Alright, so it comes four in a pack. And that's all we need, alright? Four plugs. So, let's pull one off. These are going to come with this plastic cover right here. The reason why it comes with it is because sometimes you will drop it, alright? You will drop it or hit it. And it will not close the tip, all right? It's pre-gapped, all right? Always take your old plug, all right? This is Denzel. It had NGKs in there. Very similar plug. 
make sure the length of the thread is the same length all right so you take one plug slowly put it in there all right do the same thing all right very important make sure it has a cover on it make sure you check the tip don't just check one and assume the rest of the pack is good all right check the length there you go all right so that goes in just like that then we can take our tool make sure you catch all the threads by hand first all right before you know power tools here all right this engine is in a weird angle and we do not want to put any power tools on this all right so that thing is locked up in there so the torque plugs do have a spec usually they're from 13 but it's under 20 foot l foot pound lb all right but i am gonna torque these and i am gonna come back all right guys we got our sprock plug with wires here all right and it's gonna come in a box like this the part numbers right there all right so in this pack you have two long too short all right notice the length from here to the ignition coil is more longer right so the two long ones are gonna go on this side all right so let's take this off so i am gonna take the two short ones and i am gonna leave it on the other side of the engine and this is what we're gonna need all right that's all they're both the same length i believe so yep same length all right same length all right also i am going to take off this little guy right here all right this little guy off this wire all right so you simply take this and put this on this protects the wire a little bit all right because these can get shorted and the spark can travel out so just take these wires the cover and put that on all right take you a few minutes but it's worth it okay there you go we got this little guy if you like you can put a little bit of tape there but not necessarily needed all right on this one we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna remove this little guy he has a little clip there right that goes back on all right so let's take this off and let's put this on the second cable see how I pushed it in it's perfect all right so this little guy let me just stick it on right now all right so what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna take my ignition wire i'm gonna leave it there for now and i am gonna take this little guy and i'm gonna route it all right and then i am gonna stick this right there all right and make sure it clips on to the spark plug all right do the same thing for the second wire All right, now I'm gonna take my camera and what we're gonna do is, let me take the light with it. Make sure all the points are holding on, all right? Make sure it does not hit the AC line over here. So what we'll do is we'll stick it in and then we'll pull it back a little bit. You see that? You see that little gap it got now? Stick it in and pull the cable back so it goes right above that. It can touch the plastic, no problem, all right? So again, I am gonna be changing the ignition coil. So remember, this side, this wire here has to be here on this side. And this wire from this side of the piston, this side of the cylinder head has to be on there, all right? We're gonna change the ignition coil, but we're gonna leave this just like that. Time for me to put the, the water bucket back here, all right? So let me set that up.
All right, I'm gonna go get the bucket. Let me move on my camera. All right, cause we do need a lot of clearance there, all right? All right, so here it comes. So first thing first, we're gonna put the pipes in. You are gonna leak a little bit of fluid. That's okay. And if you wanna empty this out, it's all up to you. All right, so let me see. Try not to get any fluid on the ignition cables or anything like that. All right, the second one, they don't have too much of a clearance, all right? So you're gonna have to work some, manage something here. All right, there you go. Make sure you get the, the pipes in nicely and easily, all right? And then, once you have it down there, stick the connectors in. Make sure this side, the wiring, are gonna go back into the little piece, the hook on the top of this bottle, all right? So all I need to do is put these two connectors and make sure you check if everything is working, both pumps, for the front, for the front, one for the back, all right? And there you have it. Connectors are in, all right? And all I need to do is put this number 10. And that number 10. All right, I think my bottle is not sitting properly in the bottom. All right, there you go, I got it. Okay, I think I did not get it yet properly. There you go, that's better. The bottle does have like a little scoop in the bottom that sits in the hole into the little grommet in the bottom so number 10 let's see if I can do it by hand and then number 10 all right tighten both of these and we're gonna move on to the other side all right make sure you tighten these by hand you don't even need a wrench for this if you can snug it in really good all right, so let's move on to the other side. All right, so we're on the opposite side. On this side, we do need to remove this little guy right here, all right? So it's part of this intake right here. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the bolt right here, this number 10 right here. So let's take this and remove this. This was holding this down and after that if I would just choose this end because I still don't want this bothering me all right if you want to take it off from the all the way to the end it's all up to you all right this might just come off from right there all right yeah do that all right you don't know this whole thing will come off all right and there it goes very simple all right and then you have this little silencer. This is called a silencer. It does have a number 12 all the way down here, right? So let me go get number 12. All right, so down here, we have a number 12. That holds this little guy down. Uh, yeah. It's rusted, that's what it is. There it goes with the number 12. All right, we're gonna put it away just like that. Now we have another tool. All right, so again, remember, this coil wire cable here, oh, let me put the camera up. All right, so this wire is pretty much on this side, so you cannot go wrong there, right? Same procedure. All right, let's pull this off. And on this side, the little clips you have it, it's a it's a clip that closes, right? It's a little, it has a lid to it. So all you need to do is pop open this lid. You see that little guy? It moves out and then the ignition cable comes right out. I'm gonna pull out the second one at the same time. So I'm gonna remove both of these since we already know that the firing order is very simple, all right? So just get it out of there from one side. All right, there you go. Again, they're the same length, all right? These cables are the same length. And pull out this cable. They give you like a little handle here. 
this you could grab it from right there just like that all right put that to the side take this one out put it to the side again we're gonna blow some air in the system all right just in case there's anything in there right because remember he did have a misfire so this is pretty dry so the misfire must have been on the opposite side all right so we're gonna take out the tool same thing we're gonna use a ratchet to turn it if I can find my ratchet which is right here all right so we'll take this ratchet and loosen it up once it's loose we can do it by hand so let's loose up the second spark plug There you go. All right. So let's take this guy out. So this is a four cylinder engine here. This is the Subaru engine. All right, seems to be loose. Let's see if I can pull out the spark plugs. Again, make sure your little guy here is good. So we have all four plugs out of the way. Time for me to get a new spark plug. Again, make sure these covers are on. Sometimes they're missing. Make sure you check the gap. Make sure you check the length. All right, after that, you slowly take your spark plug. Put it right there, one and two. You take your tool. You're gonna catch all the threads by hand, all right? We're gonna remove the ignition coil next and then we're gonna pull, put in all the new wires onto the new coil, all right? All right, so. I gotta tighten these. Remember, if you need torque spec, send me a message. You can always Google it. That's what I do. I do a little bit of research and then I tighten these. So I'm gonna do my research. And uh, well, I already know that I did, I believe I did like 16 foot pound over there. All right, so every car is different. Make sure you do the correct amount of spec. So let me get, get back to you on this. All right, nice and tight. We're gonna take our cables. Remember to remove this off the old ignition cables because this is gonna go onto the new cables, all right? And I got another one here. So we're gonna take our new cables. And we're gonna put this on. Little trick, let me show you a little trick. Just do that, all right? Slide right on. So you take one side, open it, you put it in the cable, and after that you just slide it. And it goes right in. All right, let's take this little guy, make sure it clicks onto the sprock plug, and it goes right from here. And make sure we keep it this side to that side. So I'm gonna house it accordingly to that. Make sure it does not touch anything here. Cannot drown itself, all right? We're gonna let it sit there, all right? Take the second one. Make sure it clicks onto the spark plugs. You can feel it. The little guy inside grabs onto the head of the plug. You can feel that, all right? There goes the second one. Oh, my glove got caught with it. There goes the second one. I had to do it twice. The little cover, you can just push it in and it will clip in just like that. Put this right there and we're gonna remove the cap, uh, move the connection cable and finish out this job right there. But let's put everything back over here. If you have a little bit of leaves and stuff, if your customer's good, just remove it. But it really doesn't matter. It doesn't bother here. Just push it down, it will fall down, all right? 
All right, that's it. So, first, we're gonna put this little guy. Make sure we catch the threads before we lock it down, all right? Let me catch the threads on this side. Make sure this side is in. The grommet here is in. All right, I believe I caught a thread or so. Yep, there you go. It's pretty easy, right? Do leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about my job. If I made a mistake, it's okay, guys. Leave a message so other people can know. All right. And also, let me know what you guys think about my other videos and what kind of videos I should be doing. All right. But anyways, let's continue. All right. So remember, the silencer is going to go in here. So let's stick this in. Everything will align, all right? That sticks in. This side sticks in. The little screw that over here, do not forget. It's a number 10. Let me get that number 10. All right. There it comes. I appreciate everyone watching my videos. If you guys need help, send me a message, all right? I'm willing to send you a message back on any information you need, all right? And I'm gonna lock this up. Bada bing, bada boom, all right? Don't go crazy on this, so just lock it down. I'm going back to the same spot I took it off, all right? You can see the shininess. All right, we have that in there, and we're gonna move our camera towards that way, and we're gonna replace the ignition coil, all right? So. It's gonna be a very simple job. I could probably do it from right here. All right, there you go. My camera sees it really good, all right? So first of all, I'm gonna show you the part number on this ignition coil. We're gonna take this, push on that clip, and try to easily, do not break that clip, all right? You do not wanna break this connector. Try to maneuver this back slowly and easily. All right, there you go. Put the connector there, leave it right there. Make sure you do not hit this cable right here. This is an alternator. It's hot all times. All right, so this got number 10 here, number 10 there, number 10 there, all right? So three bolts. One, two, just loosen it, and then you should be able to take it off by hand. This should be the same length, all right? So there should be no issues. So that's one. and that's three all right so take this coil take it off put it away let me get the new ignition coil comes in a box there's a part number on it right there three six twelve oh six all right that's the part number so let's take it out of this box comes nicely packed if this coil fails, if one fails, your second one will automatically fail, all right? So this goes in only one direction. You cannot put it wrong, all right? So it grounds itself through these bolts, so make sure you put all the bolts nice and tight. That's the only way it gets ground, all right? But this is a waste system coil, so when one fires, the second one fires at the same time. Even if the piston needs a spark or not, it's always going to be there. So that's why if one fails, the second one automatically fails, all right? So I'm going to tighten this hand. We do not need to go crazy and tight torque it. Just make sure you don't go crazy and break the block down below, all right? So there we have it. Shebang. All right, double check your work. Do not forget to put this cable in. You forget this and make sure it clicks. If you forget this, the car is not gonna start. There you go, all right? Then you take your ignition cables, you put them all. If you need to push them down, you can push them down, all right? So this one's sticking up too little high. I'm gonna try to maneuver this down a little bit, all right? So it's nicely and fairly and evenly, all right? That looks pretty good. Same thing on this side. All right, make sure they click. You will feel the click in them, all right? There you go. 
This one I did not get. There you go. So this job is done. Bada bing, bada boom. Give it a thumbs up. Thank you for And don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye. Peace out. Ah. I didn't forget about them push ups. So there it goes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15. Kicked it up a notch, all right? So keep moving up, all right? Little by little, just push yourself. You'll get used to it, and then it'll be a routine. You won't live a day without it.